This is part five of our art project. We're going to add wavy lines. So we need to put in y equals sine bracket, and we're going to put in x divided by 5. So that gives us, and move right, that gives us a very long wavy line. We want to make the wavy line taller. We just put in a bigger number here, four. Okay, and if you want to make it smaller, use a decimal value. That's probably too small for what we need, so let's put it at 0.5. If we want to add more waves, because this is very few waves and it's very wide, we just make this number smaller. And if you want to make it really small, make it a decimal. It's going to make it big for now. Let's add in a second wavy line. Okay, these two are right on top of each other. If I want to move it down, I'll just subtract a value. If I want to move it up, I'm going to add a value. Okay. These waves line up with each other. Suppose I wanted this wave to be a little bit over this way. Well, I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to add a little bit. Okay. So if we look at the top of this one, it's moved over a little bit this way. So the top of this one and the top of this one, well, negative 3 pi is about 9, negative 9, this is negative 12. So we've shifted it over this way. It's a similar to the shift for the circle. If we do plus, it's going to move left. And let's add another one. We'll just copy this whole thing. We can do copy and paste here as well. And I'm going to put this at minus 3. And if I wanted to move it right, I'm going to do minus 3. Okay, so you can see the top of this one has moved over to the right. The top of this one has moved to the left relative to the red line. Okay, so again, if we want to add more waves, I'm going to make this number smaller. If I want the waves to be taller, I'm going to make the front number larger. And that's about all you need to know for waves. You can also restrict the domain if you want. We want to restrict the domain. So let's have the wave go from here to here. That's negative 20, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 15. We can also restrict the wave in terms of the y value. But uh, what I need to do first is I'm going to make this taller. That makes it easier to see the effect. So I'm going to say I want the wave to go from 4 to 6. So 4 and I'll just put in y. Okay, now we just get the tops of the waves. And that completes your lesson for the waves.